my loves! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello -y. my name is Loey. Welcome back to Terror Time, where we round up the spookiest stories from across the internet. I fully understand that you guys are a collective of over 2.3 million people, but let me tell you something, you love Glitch in the Matrix videos. I'm always talking about Glitch and the Matrix TikToks I find, but for the last couple of weeks, I've been rounding up some of the scariest Glitch in the Matrix stories from across Reddit. So today we're gonna go over six of the ones that freaked me out the most. The first story comes from Reddit user mancoid underscore, and the poster says that after a vacation with their family, they had forgotten their headphones 500 miles away from home. The poster had used those headphones every single day of their vacation until the last day. They were positive that they must have left them on the beach and their entire family actually helped them look because they knew this was like the poster's only pair of headphones. So they used vacation photos to see if they can last track when the headphones were used. And sure enough, they are in a lot of the vacation photos. The family keeps searching and searching and eventually they decide they're just giving up and heading on home. When the poster walks into their room, there are their headphones sitting on the nightstand. They were all rolled up as if they had started to pack them away and then left them behind. The whole family was speechless. This wasn't a case of somebody running out and buying new headphones to replace the lost ones. They had all gotten home at the exact same time. So OP thinks that their headphones literally teleported 500 miles away wherever they had been lost back to their bedroom, and they say it still haunts them to this day. Listen, I'm always losing things and finding them in places that I certainly don't remember putting them, but an experience like this would scare me too. I guess the headphones were just ready for the vacation to be over. Next is a story from Reddit user JackTheDog5, and this one is sad but very sweet. Jack and their family lost their dog, Duke, a year and a half ago at the time of writing this post to liver cancer, and it was a really difficult loss. Duke was this sweet dog, he was a big brown chocolate lab, and he was a good dog. He just liked to cuddle and lay on the floor with people. This was obviously a hard loss, but Jack has never really hallucinated or seen things that weren't there before. After Duke died, Jack started to see him, but only out of the corner of their eye. Out of the peripheral of their eye, Jack can still see Duke laying on the bedroom floor all the time and literally watch as Duke's chest rises and falls. Like the dog is there, he is real, he is breathing. To make it even weirder, Jack's other dog, JJ, also kind of seems to act like there's somebody else in the room during these times. So the glitch in the matrix is that the poster's dog passed away, but he's still there. I think that's just a really sweet one. If that's a glitch I could get, I would like it. I love my pets so much. It makes so much sense that Duke would still like be around his family even after passing on to the doggy spirit world. So far, these stories have been from the Glitch in the Matrix subreddit, but the next one is someone answering the question, Reddit, tell me your Glitch in the Matrix stories. This post was made 11 years ago by Sarah X 11 Sarah said that around the age of 20, she kept having these dreams about a person she felt like she had never met before. The woman had long, dark hair, and apparently her name was Aurora. The poster would wake up confused, like, why am I seeing this person? I don't know who this is. They even resorted to Google, like Googling the name Aurora, seeing if there was anyone who matched that description in like friend groups. However, Sarah never could figure out how they were connected to Aurora. And eventually one day she just stopped showing up. A few years later, it's Halloween of 2009, and Sarah is at the gas station with a friend actually about to merge back onto the highway when suddenly they get a call. So OP stops the car, answers the phone, and nobody is there. Now, the person that was behind them got really irritated by them stopping the car, like beeped their horn and then swerved around them to get onto the highway. As soon as that car got onto the highway, a silver Civic lost control. 
and it crashes into the car that had pulled in front of Sarah's car. Sarah and their friend were very shaken up by this, but eventually made it home, and the poster felt like curious about who exactly had called them, because whoever this was had inadvertently saved their life. So they call back the number. It rings three times, and then goes to voicemail, which says, Hi, you've reached Aurora. Leave your name and number and I'll call you back. I'm covered in goosebumps. You're covered in goosebumps. Sarah's covered in goosebumps. A few days later, they were able to connect with Aurora and Sarah actually confessed to them, like, I've been having dreams about you. Like, do we know each other? Here's the kicker. Not only do they not know each other, Aurora never called Sarah. No idea how Sarah got her number. No idea how that call was made in the first place because Aurora never made it. Sarah gets Aurora's Facebook during this call, looks her up, and it's her. The very girl from her dreams. This might have been a glitch in the Matrix, but I think it's one of those where the Matrix, the universe, was really, really looking out for this person. Because both people in the car accident died. And it could have been Sarah, but I really think something was protecting them. Next is from Reddit user Shayna24601, who titled her post, I think we saw a time traveler. Shayna and her boyfriend were just in the car and stopped at a red light when suddenly Shayna noticed a guy who kind of caught her attention. He looked roughly 15 to 18, just strolling down the street. And the reason that he caught Shayna's attention was because he looked like a 15 to 18 year old from 2004. He was wearing baggy jeans, a gray beanie, a black t-shirt over a white long sleeve t-shirt. Shayna turns to her boyfriend and she's like, wow, this skater boy just stepped out of 2004. Like what a blast from the past. And they're joking about it. Shayna's like pretending to be a time traveler. She's pretending to be this kid saying like, whoa, where am I? Like what year is it? And just as she's doing this, she notices that the guy starts looking around like really, really confused. And they're on the opposite side of the road from him with their windows up. There's no way he heard them. Shayna and her boyfriend are talking about this, giggling. They look away for half a second. And when they look back, the guy has literally vanished into thin air. There was nothing to duck down behind. There was nowhere to go. He had just disappeared. At first they're kind of laughing, you know, like, wow, that's crazy. Where did he go? But the more they sat with it, the more they thought about it, the more they started to realize that there was nowhere for this guy to go. Like it didn't make sense that he had just disappeared. The whole ride home, Shayna and her boyfriend just sat in silence and thought about time travel. Baggy jeans and a gray beanie and layering t-shirts does not necessarily indicate a time traveler, but I do think this story is really interesting simply because it freaked out the original poster so much. Now let's time travel forward a little bit to the year 2008. This post is from a deleted account. When the poster was a teenager, they would hang out at this cool shed that was at their friend's place most weekends. This shed sounds more like a little guest house, like it had like four bunk beds, tables and fireplaces and TVs and stuff like that. Like it was a proper little getaway. So the poster is saying the night at this place when suddenly he has to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. So he leaves the little shed, the little cabin, whatever it is, and he goes outside. The poster is about to relieve himself when he notices something strange. The friend who has this little hangout spot also has an older brother who's there that night. And the poster notices that the older brother is like standing in the dark by all of the cars of the people who had come to hang out at the shed. The older brother is just staring the poster down for five to 10 seconds. Suddenly, he turns away and starts to walk off into the dark towards nothing but fields. The poster thinks something might be wrong, so he goes back inside and asks his friend, like, hey, what's going on with your brother? Like, I just saw him out by the cars. And the friend is like, what do you mean? My brother's right there. The poster looks over and the brother is sitting on the couch where apparently he's been this whole time. He was wearing the exact same clothes that the poster saw him in outside as well. To this day, the poster says that he doesn't know how it all happened. There was no way back into the shed that the poster wouldn't have seen. I, for one, am very, very glad that the poster did not follow him because to me, 
That sounds a little flesh pedestrian-y, if you catch my drift. This last story was actually posted somewhat recently by Heart Stops Pounding, and it reminded me of this like original Reddit story and how I truly think it's one of the creepiest Glitch in the Matrix stories I've ever heard. The original post was by Tempto to soon, but this poster deleted their account. This was an entirely throwaway account, and when you hear what happened, it kind of makes you wonder where they are now. While the poster was in his final semester at college, he was attacked by a football player who went to the same school for walking where the guy was trying to drive. And as the poster describes, while unconscious, he lived another life. The poster met his wife, this wonderful woman who made his heart race and was everything he'd ever desired in a partner. He pursued her for months, even managed to fight off some rogue boyfriends she had, and after two years together, they got married and had a daughter. The poster had an amazing job and was able to provide for his family, and his wife stayed at home with the kids. And I say kids because eventually she also had a son. It's this perfect little family, the husband, the wife, the two kids. The poster has so many memories of just walking into his son's room every morning and saying hello, or playing with his daughter, sitting with his wife every single night. His life was so happy. And then one day, a lamp would ruin everything. The poster is just sitting in his couch in his living room one day after work, and he's looking at the lamp that's in his living room, but something about it isn't quite right. There was something about the lamp that was wrong. It looked inverted. It looked uncanny, like it didn't really belong there. And this was just a lamp in this guy's living room. But it would be the thing that ruined his life. Because from the moment that he noticed the lamp, he could not look away, could not bring himself to leave his spot. He never ate never slept, never moved from that spot again, didn't go to the bathroom, didn't play with his kids, didn't speak. His wife was terrified by this. She would try to talk to him, say, you know, come eat some dinner, like, come on, like, let's go play with the kids. But he could not bring himself to look away from that lamp. He stared at the lamp for three long days, unmoving until his wife had finally had enough. She tried so hard to talk to him, to tell him that everything was okay, that she was here for him, that she would talk him through anything he was feeling, but he just couldn't explain what was wrong. She called in professional help, which didn't do anything, and so eventually she took the children to her mother's house, leaving the poster alone in the house with the lamp. It was once he was finally alone that the poster realized that the last 10 years of his life, his wife, his children, his house, his job, the lamp, none of it was real. At this realization, the lamp started to grow wider and deeper, literally shifting dimensions right in front of the poster's eyes. He heard screams and people talking and all of these noises that didn't make sense to him. Suddenly he realized he was in a lot of pain and the first words he heard himself speak were, I'm missing teeth. The poster had finally woken up after being knocked unconscious by a man who had attacked him for walking where he wanted to drive. The last 10 years weren't real. None of it was real. He was taken to the hospital and treated for his injuries, but the depression and the depersonalization that happened after this experience is like too much for him to bear. The poster has grieved the loss of his wife and children and the life that he loved. He says that he's never seen his wife or daughter again, but that sometimes he sees his son out of the corner of his eye, just in his peripheral. His son has stayed forever five years old, and the poster can never really hear what he's saying. So to summarize, this poster went unconscious and lived a full 10 years in a reality that never existed. With something like this, is it a dream? Do you just have no concept of how long you're knocked out? Or was he fully in a different reality, living out this life, and now he's disappeared from that world and is back in our own? Was it a near-death experience that caused this? Will he ever meet his wife in real life? Like, will any of that come true? I don't know, and the account was deleted, and the guy has never said anything else. That one is crazy, though. Imagine your entire reality coming crumbling down 
because you realize an object in your world doesn't look quite right. There you all have it. Those were six glitch in the matrix stories for you. And I really, really hope you enjoyed them. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. A very special thank you to my channel members, my beautiful, wonderful channel members for your support of my channel. If you want to join the channel memberships and get extra members exclusive perks, including members only videos, polls to help me decide on future video topics, members only updates and diary entries, and so much more, you can click that little join button. It should be somewhere around the screen. We would love to have you. A very special thank you to my VIP loves for your generous support of this channel. I love you very much. And I love you all very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!